Okay. So we have we have open youthvoices.live. We have open your writing. You have Kumo space here. There is one last thing, which is the instructions for how to post on Youth Voices. And that's a link in Kumo space right in the center of this room. I see some of you are still coming in. I'll try to slow down a little bit, but I want to get going. Um, because what we want to do today is we... It's the same yep. link. Remember, stop. stop. Just stay still. I'm okay. There you are. There you are. You're here. You're here. It's okay if you're a little next to each other. It's all good. Um, Clarice, you're going to have... Is it Clarice? Who is it? No, Charlie. Charlie, you're going to have to move over a little bit. Charlie. Charlie. There you go. Now you can hear us. Okay. So does everyone see where it says in the center of the room? It's a Google symbol, and it says posting on Youth Voices. That is going to be your guide through all of this. It's going to get a little confusing with all these tabs open and everything, but that's your guide. Okay. Good, good. So probably that's the fourth tab that opens. Okay. Everyone ready? Do you have, I'm going to begin to show what I hope you do. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to take all of your writing and post it as a discussion post on Youth Voices. The reason you're doing that is you're going to get your voice about the 1619 Project out to the world and other young people from youth over at the youth school to kids in the Bronx, to kids in Brooklyn, to kids in Salt Lake City, to kids in California. You're going to let them know what you think, right? So you need to find your writing, copy it, and paste it into a discussion post edit screen. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, what so about we'll, A, B, C, and D, um, Paul? We'll, yes, we'll get there. Okay. Okay. Oh, so before I do this, I guess I need to move. Do I need to move that out here? Okay, so I'll wait. So here, in this, in Kumo space here, there are four picnic tables. Everything I say today and, and some things I don't say are on the picnic table to give you help. help. Um, there is a picnic table. Don't go there, but there's a picnic table to the upper left, table A, and it, it gives you a list of templates that you can use to get very specific, helpful information about your text. You look up. One of one of them is one of them is to do a grammar and spell check on every paragraph. You take each paragraph and do a quick grammar and spell check on it. Okay, that's there. But there are other ones there as well. So, for example, if you don't have an introduction to your piece yet, you might want to do an introduction there. Okay, second. Um, the B picnic table, it lists the three things you have to have when you post here. You have to have categories, you have to have tags, and you have to have a featured image. Your featured image should be made with AI using the same way we made our profile pictures. Okay? So those th that's explained there as well. Then you come down if you want to use uh, if you want to get some other ideas for how to use ChatGPT to polish your writing to make it even better. There are some ideas on Table C, and then Table D we're going to spend more time on. It's about blocks, how you put an image in your post, how you put it. Uh, perhaps if you want to put a video in, or if you want to put audio in. I think you're going to be required to have. A, an image and audio in your post. So there are, are directions there for how to do that. I will explain some of this or all of this. Coming back to the very simple thing, you're, you're going to copy all of your writing right now, about 1619, after, after check-in three, I think. Um, checkpoint three. Checkpoint three. three. Then, then you're going to paste that, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Then you're going to use AI and your own brain, and you're going to revise it and get it ready to publish. Any questions yet as I bring up my present screen? Listening for questions. Nothing yet? Mm -mm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. He was in the class twice. Or once. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we ready? Ready. Okay. I am logged in and I am on my wall. I see my wall here. Okay. Let me do this. Ready? So um, go this on your voices. Go to you voices live. How do I and be just go to you voices live. Make sure you see your name on your wall. That's now, the first thing. Yep. So this is it. This is the same as your Google Doc or your Doc where you have your writing. I'm going to highlight all of my writing right here. You see how I did that? I'm going to copy that. Then I'm go then I'm going to go to Youth Voices, scroll across where or hover across where it says create and click on discussion posts and AI Mojo. So you all can look up and back at your computer. If you're uh, on your phone, you're distracted. Create discussion posts AI Mojo. Got that? That's really the most important thing you've done. That will come up in 15 or 20 seconds, and it'll look like this. Please look up. It'll have add title here. Look add, up, everybody. What it'll you have doing? type forward slash to choose a block. Look, you got to look up and down, up and down. Okay. Now, where it says type to choose a block, you want to paste everything you copied from your Google Doc. And we're going to wait. Please look left and right in front of you, behind you. Make sure everybody is up to this point. They have pasted text into this edit screen. And the way you can paste it in is control V, you did control C in your Google Doc of everything. Select all comes from edit. Control C, copy. And control V is paste or you can right click, depending on what kind of computer or device you're using. And paste it all in. Okay, I wish I was there right now because so, I would be looking at your computer to see if you have this on your screen. Please check each Who other. Who doesn't have this on their screen? Have, have a chance to make sure. I don't want to lose anybody. Huh? She doesn't have it? Are you on your wall, doctor? Okay, youthvoices.live. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, move on. Okay, ready? We hold it. And okay. after you get to youthvoices.live, you should see your name and your wall. Uh, this, this is a great uh, and, But you have to go to wall. You have to go to the drop down. Oh, under create. Sorry. Thank you. Discussion posts and AI mojo. Everybody look up. This is where you have to be after you get on here. Create discussion posts and AI mojo. Okay? That's where you are. Click that. Then you will see um, title. Uh, yeah, add title, and you will see something slash post. Okay? And then that's where you paste your document your writing you paste your writing there understand that i do have your before and after writing so if you did a totally ai generated writing you have failed your benchmark because uh your checkpoint showed me what you started with your checkpoint showed me what you finished with after you had ai play in your writing you and AI back and forth together. Your, your chat GPT generated response is what you're using in this. Checkpoint three. We said it three times. But but we want your voice to come through. And, yeah, and but we want your voice. So listen. Mm -hmm. No, that's cool. That's cool. So um, where are we? The, Oh, oh! One of the one of the questions from an earlier class um, is whether or not you should include the questions that your teacher gave you, and I think the answer is 
for right now you can, but when you finally publish this, you should change those questions into your own writing in some way um, or make them a heading or something, but they shouldn't be, in other words, it's not a question answer thing you're posting. You're posting an essay that you have written yourself, putting all this work together. In exactly. blog post style. Right. Okay. It's a blog post. So it's not like you're doing a series of questions and putting a document on there. You're almost I, making like an online magazine. Yeah. Okay. So think about your title um, as I'm talking here. Um, I'm going to remind you that in the upper right hand corner, there is a little game controller. Look up, I'm, I'm pointing to it right now. It's AI Mojo, open AI Mojo, right? Open the AI Mojo. Um, I'm looking quickly to say that here are some ideas for what you could do. I'm going to give you one more. We're going to talk about your title right now. Sorry to keep going back and forth. Let me just, okay. Put some sort of kind of text in there, even though you don't have checkpoint three. I'm going to, okay. Here's, here's a title from earlier today that somebody wrote. I'm going to use this title. Does everyone see it? It's Gender, History, Literature, and You. Oh, uh, we have some questions. No, no, Paul. It's for me and Paul because we're both working. This. <laughs> Why? <laughs> How do you know? Why uh, <laughs> Quickly, ask your question. I, I want to go on to something. You sure? Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm going to go to so. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Paul. No, I, that, well, uh, just yeah. want to say that the reason to use templates is because um, ChatGPT isn't so smart. It gives you, it gives you like too much information sometimes. And what I've done with, with the templates is try to um, make it smarter, make it more thoughtful in, in how it helps your work. If you go to the second template, or the second tab, you'll go to templates, do this now, then go to select a template, um, type the word title, and you'll find something that says, turn my title into a come read me headline. Oh, excuse me, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, type a title that you just, uh, uh, whatever a title for your piece that you want to use a title okay. for your writing what right. kind of title do you have in your mind for your own writing and it's not necessarily gender history literature and you not necessarily so think about all the writing that you have done in this assignment what yeah. title would you give it this is just my example here okay i'm going to hit generate and it gave me a, instead of gender history and you, it gave me discover gender history literature and yourself. I don't know if that's better, but it's a little better. I'm going to go back to the templates again. I'm going to keep that same title. I'm going to hit generate again. It'll give me a different title. And this time it's. <laughs> you like the title it gave you? Good. So once you get a title that you like, generate it a few times. Mm -hmm. Generate it a few times, you all, so you can get to the best and something that's agreeable to you and your writing. What's your question? Yes, I am. So Willa asked a good question. She went ahead because your titles, shh, for a minute. Your title on your post must be five words or less. So even as AI generates a title that might be longer than five words, you can extract out of that what it is you want, all right, to use. But your titles can only be five words or less. 
Now, this comes from Ms. Bentu's journalism background, all right? Because that's what's going to grab a reader's attention to even interact with your post. That's all you need is five words. Thank you, Willa. <laughs> How about this one? Um, I, I could say gender, history, and literature. Start your journey today. Oh, I like that. Maybe it's yeah. maybe it's too fancy. I don't know. Uh huh. But take out history, gender, and literature. Oh, start your journey today. That's uh -huh. yeah, okay. that's five words. All right. Huh? You like the way and, that sounds? And you take out, you take out history. Oh, that's seven. Your unique. Oh. Gender, gender, gender. Listen. Also, 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 as you're as you're picking out words, you may think of a better one than, than AI gave you, right? So come up with your own. Okay, so you may not know this yet, but there is a little thing up here that says copy. Once you want to copy something from AI, go up to the title and paste it there. All right. So. You need to see what you're back to the table. This is my kid. Well, then you better hold your horses together. Okay, how are we doing? You have your title in there. Please, please find where it says save draft just up to the right on top. Hit save draft every once in a while. It does save automatically, but you can't trust that necessarily. Hit save draft every once in a while and make sure it saves. How is that attention grabbing? Gender, yeah. attention grabbing. All right, so you don't like it. I. Uh... <laughs> Other people might. I think it depends on your audience. No, I'm not reading that. It does depend on your audience. So for audience. an older person, that might grab their attention. For a younger person, you don't really Listen, um, the other thing you're going to do today is you're going to get a, a uh, featured image. So your featured image is also going to draw people in, right? Okay. Um, now, just to remind you, you can't. Let's say you don't have an. You've put these these pieces of writing together, and you don't have an introduction yet. You can come back here to the templates, and and choose another template and say uh, introduction. And you can find a discussion post introduction. You can take all of your posts. I'm doing it right now. I'm clicking the last paragraph. And I'm putting that into this box here. Insert everything. So my put my entire writing is here. I'm going to go to generate, and it's going to give me an introduction. You may hate the introduction it gives you. Okay, it may or you may like it. You decide what you want to do with it. Okay, so copy and paste this up to the top of your page of your. Yeah, your ed your editing screen here. Okay, so that's one thing to work on. Um, watch what I'm doing here for a second. On uh, at the top again, uh, there's a gear box or a gear symbol. Hit the settings symbol, and then hit post. Notice those two things. I highlight them on picnic table B. You can see this here then. And there are three things you have to add here. You have to add tags, you have to add categories, and you have to add a featured image, which you get by using the same thing we did when we made profile images. Okay. So I want to say this. If you don't have text in, a, in this discussion post and AI, it's going to be very difficult for you to follow through with this. Not only that, even if you don't have the real text in right now, you won't be able to go through these motions at home because you have nothing. So you need to work with something versus nothing. Now, yeah, that, I can't help either if you don't have your own stuff in here. Right. Because he can troubleshoot on what you may not have gotten correct, like the process that you may have been hung up on, even if you don't ask a question 
out loud. But the only way he can see that, Makai, is that you have something there. All right. I'm going to say it again. You need categories, tags, and featured image. Featured image comes from Dali, the same way we did profile image. Pause for a second. Your tags, there are two tags you need. Two One tags. is, are they on... Do, it, was it gender? Gender lit. Gender lit, all one yep. word. L -I -T, all one word. And SLA at Bieber. The at is the uh, uh, uppercase two. Uppercase number two, at Bieber. So those are the two tags. Tags you need. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> so so here's the deal. Um, when you when you use those tags. It's going. It's like turning your work into your teacher. It's going to put it on a page on Youth Voices where everybody can see it together. Okay? All right, Paul, go yes. back to the tags. How do they get to there? How do they get there? So let's say you had AI Mojo open, which I do right now, right? Templates. There is a gear-looking symbol on the top right. It says Settings. If you look up right now, I'm on it. You click Settings, and then you have to click post there's a tab for post and yours is simpler than mine but you you'll find categories here you'll find tags right here you type sla at beaver you notice it starts to come up you can just select it like that and then you want to choose gender lit there's also there's a tag that is like it's just all in one it says gender lit and sla beaver don't use that one but do not use that one which, oh, oh, together. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Sorry. Don't you? Yeah, don't use that one. But if you do, if you do, don't worry because I'll fix it. That's the kind of thing I can fix. What I can't do is your writing for you, right? So that's the thing you have to do. Hit save draft every once in a while. Okay. Now, the next thing is learning how to use blocks on WordPress. This is not AI. This is back to digital learning. Okay. Um, look up at the screen for a second. Let's say at the second paragraph here. Everybody's looking at the screen. So I have one short paragraph there, then my second one. At the end of that second paragraph, I press enter. And I have, then I I'll leave my cursor there at the beginning. And I go up to the blue toggle block inserter. Okay, it's a blue box or blue square at the top. I click on that and I search for image. I click the image box and an image block comes into my text. So everyone see that? I'm going to show it again, but pay attention here. So each paragraph is its own block. And then you can decide, you know what? After my second paragraph, I want to put an image in. You can make the image or you can find the image online, up to you. Um, but that's what you want to do here. Then you're coming down and you say, you know what? This would be a great place for some audio. I'm going to, I love this paragraph I just wrote. I want to record this audio. So you press enter again. You leave the cursor there where it says type forward slash. You come up here to the toggle block inserter. This time you search for the word audio. Okay, and an audio box comes in. You make a recording somewhere, either with your phone or um, on, at ta on picnic table D, I have a link for something called online recorder. You can record your voice there, save it as an MP3 onto your desktop and then upload it here. Notice when I hit upload, it goes to my desktop. And so you have to have an audio component uploaded in your post on you voices. The way in which you can do it is either use a SoundCloud or your a reading of the portion of a portion of your uh, responses with music underneath. If you record using your phone, the sky is the limit. And then you would email that to yourself, that file to yourself and put it on your computer so that you can upload it on Youth Voices. 
or if you know a different way, do it. Uh, quick, quick. If it's a sound cloud, for example, if I, I just press enter after that paragraph, I come up, and this is to help you understand blocks. There are literally hundreds of possible blocks, but if you had a SoundCloud link that's public, you would type SoundCloud, you would find SoundCloud. You'd come here and you'd enter that link and it would embed that SoundCloud here for you. All right? And because some people wanted to do this, I don't think this is required, but if you want to put video up, I've again opened up between two paragraphs, gone to the plus button, I'm going to YouTube. I'm collecting YouTube and I just have to get the, U the link to the YouTube and I can embed my YouTube here. Or you can put HTML and embed code. Lots and lots of possibilities for making this a multimodal post on Youth Voices. So it gets people's attention. The featured image is going to do that. The dynamic, wonderful writing you're doing is going to do that. But also this multimedia media stuff is going to get it. And the final thing, and I will shut up, is that you want to give headings, right? Um, I think there was actually a really good example of this. Let me see if I can. Yeah, this one. No, not this one. Yeah, here we go. So... Note, here's, here's an example of one that got posted this morning. There's your image. Here's some writing. Here's a heading, which is right. also another kind of block. So even though this is interesting and long in a good way, um, she's given us subheadings, which give a, a good idea of, oh, I can read that. So that'll help your reader to give them headings to your text as well. The image was AI generated and the video came from where, Paul? It's a YouTube video. YouTube. It's YouTube, yeah. Um, and by the way, when she put it up, it, she didn't put it up right, but that, that part doesn't matter. I wanna keep emphasizing. I was able to find what YouTube video she wanted to put up and fix it. So I can do that part. Again, I keep saying this, but I can't do the writing. You got to do the writing yourself. You got to get that writing up and get it saved. And as you're going here, let me just say that um, what will happen is on the home page. Let's take, here we go. There is a symbol for SLA Beaver. You will click on that or others will click on that. And your stuff will be all gathered here. Here are the couple that we have up so far. Okay. So all of yours will be on this page. You'll be able to find each other's. You'll be able, other people will be able to find them. Questions, thoughts, problems, issues, help you need now. All right. I hope that's good that there are no questions yet. <laughs> um, so people have gotten to, um, how about grammar, Paul? You didn't talk about that. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, and I did break it down. So you, yeah, two paragraph by paragraph. Let me show now, you. Or what I do when I, I just wrote a grant last night that's due at 11.59 p.m. tonight. Mm -hmm. And I had myself and a professor from University of Michigan talk through all the answers. We had Google Doc dictate our responses to the questions. And then because there's no punctuation or anything that's placed in, when you dictate like that, we edited our spoken words that were on a digital page using AI. Really, y'all, by the time we got to about the fourth, 4C was a question. It sounded like, AI sounded like us at that point, but it took a whole lot of checking and a whole lot of revising on us from what AI was generating in order for it 
to be more like us. Okay? Yeah. So you, I don't suggest you put in a full paragraph of writing. I was mm -hmm. doing one or two sentences at a time and checking that way because it gives you back gobbledygook a lot when you put a whole paragraph in. Except the way I built this template, just uh, you're right with chat GPT. Okay. But the way I built this template, I think it'll take a paragraph well. Okay. Um, but y'all are in spoiled territory. And here's and here's the here's the deal. Um, so when you go to if you can look up just one second, if you go to templates, the second tab. Up. Chloe, pick your head up. And we're looking we're looking now for grammar. Grammar and punctuation. Um, it does. It checks your grammar, your punctuation. It also will tend to split because most young people write really long paragraphs, and what what is good for the reader online is if they're short paragraphs. Um, so I'm going to pick this paragraph right here. Notice I clicked in the middle of that paragraph. That's a block. I have revising 17 up as my template. I'm going to the little plus sign right here, and I'm going to insert just that block. Okay, so that paragraph is in there. It's generating now. Um, it's correcting my grammar and my punctuation. Um, it also gave me two paragraphs here. It said I could end my through an API. So I'm checking, right? I'm not like just copying and pasting this in because I want to see, do I really agree with them? Two texts from both performing. Okay, I could do that. And y'all, you have to see if you agree with it because it will take your writing and make it its own. And it could give false information. So you have to read everything for, that AI produces in order for you before you copy and paste it into your document. So this is a small matter, but look here. It says an API with a large language model such as OpenAI's GPT-3. They want to change it with a large. They want to put through an API. I put through an API. I, I think they're right. It, it, that's better what they said. So I'm going to accept that sentence. All right. So I copy it. And where is it? Oh, second. Oh, they also said secondly instead of second. But you know what? I think secondly sounds, I don't yeah. like it. So I'm going to go second. I'm going to keep my second. So I kept part of what they said to change, and I kept my own voice in other parts. That's the way you go back and forth between these two. Now to go to the next paragraph, see what that's up, up with that. Uh, but I do like that they made those smaller paragraphs. They're going to look too small. You've probably somewhere been taught paragraphs need to have five sentences or something. Yeah, four to six. Not true online. Online, two or three sentences is okay for a paragraph. Three uh, sentences. Okay. <laughs> All right. So experiment with shorter paragraphs when you're publishing online. Um, All right. I've talked too much. I really want you to work and ask questions. So you do, this is a day to use this as a playground because the 22nd is Wednesday. Your benchmark is due on that day. And you only want to have a 12 hour window to, to, for lateness. It's going to be due Wednesday, 7.59 a.m. And then it's going to lock out Wednesday, 7.59 p.m. Here are the others, the 20th today. Here are the other elements that must be in your post. Your title, five words or less. You have to use the tags, gender lit and SLA at Bieber. You need one audio, one piece of audio. So I called it an audio block to keep in sync with the language of youth voices. And then you need one image. If you want more, like you saw what was on there, one image must be a feature image. And if you want more, that's okay. But I don't want to see more than three images in your post. All right? 
And if you want to use video, you can. So the young lady used the video in the audio portion versus using audio. She thought it was just much more appropriate for her writing. So these are the kind of choices that you get to make because you're now in a playground. You're in a playground of learning. You're in a playground of creating. And you're in a playground of leading other high school students because people aren't doing this kind of work. They're not doing it. Got some hot titles here. Yeah. Black History in the Now. Nice. Rocking with Gender and Justice. Oh, I like that, Rocking with Gender and yeah. Justice. Delectable History of Women's Struggles. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that one. Okay. Oh, that sounds kind of risque to me. It's, uh, I want to read it. Um, <laughs> un unlock the 1619 Project's Power. That's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Looking good, folks. So Paul can see what everybody is doing. And those people who aren't doing their work, that can be seen too. <laughs> And, and I can click here and, and see when, you know, you tried to upload something and it didn't work, but the URL is there and I can fix it, right? So, or you if have you a didn't... question on that. Yeah, good. Is there a way to, like, restore it? Because mine logged me out and deleted my whole graph. Um, yeah, okay. It, so. Did you have a click save draft? Yeah. Well, like okay, yeah. So look up, look up, up at my screen. You scroll across your wall, and there's a link that says, uh, where is it? Your drafts and posts. Go to your drafts and posts and see if you see it there. Should be able to open it. It may not have everything you were doing, but it'll, it'll have saved something. You got it? But a lot of good portion or a little bit. Okay. Good, good. So, so that was that's the key in clicking saving draft often. And that was also that was also a good example of what you can do at home. Don't you know, don't try to start again at home. Just go to your wall, find where just hover across your wall and go down to your drafts and posts and you'll find what you were working on here in class. can't see you. What should, you, how do you, can you do the step again to add audio, please? Yes. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Uh, okay, I'll use this one. Here I am. I'm in my, she has it already there, but that's okay. I'm in my one, two, three paragraphs. And before the fourth paragraph, I want to put some audio, right? So I press enter. It gives me this sentence that says type a forward slash to choose a block, right? Just want to point out before I show the audio, if you put the forward slash it'll, you and put heading, that's how you make headings, okay? So you then type what you want the heading to be there. I'm going to press enter and I'm going to press that forward slash again and I'm going to click audio. That's one way to do it. I'm going to show you that doesn't always work though because it depends on if you've used it before. So I'm going to show you the standard way. I get to where it says type forward slash. I go up to the blue square up here. I click on that. I search for the word audio. And if it's a SoundCloud, I can use that one. If it's just audio, I can use audio. And then I have to upload my MP3. I think it'll also take M4As, which most phones do. M4A. I think it does. Um, if it doesn't, I'll fix it. So you're going to upload. You're going to find the audio and put it there and uh, upload it. All right, it'll upload and there'll be a play button. It'll all be set for you. Is that clear? Okay. Same thing um, while we're at it. Let me just say, let's say you're on a YouTube video. Let me show you this fast. 
Um, if I right click on YouTube video, there are two ways to do this. Let me show you the, I think, harder but in the end better way. You copy the embed code, right? I right click on here. I copy the embed code of the video when it's on YouTube. I come back to my post. Where is it? Too many. Okay, I'll get there. Okay. Now I'm going to choose the HTML, custom HTML. You go up here, HTML just means code, right? The custom HTML box, I right click, or I click in the box. I type that code I copied right here. I hit preview and I see that my video is up here, ready to play. Okay, yes. so. That's nice. Now. If you were looking away for a moment, you didn't see what's going on. Remember, there are instructions on the picnic table D. It, it says it says uh, video upload, and you can click on those, and they're really good instructions. I didn't write them. <laughs> they, they, they come from they come from WordPress themselves. So, oh, okay. okay. Remove HTML. Okay. Okay. And just to remember that the thing that's in the middle on, on Kuma Space, um, that list of, I think, 10 instructions is, is the most, that's the key for getting your post up on Youth Voices. And that's in Kuma Space. So know that day three meeting link takes you directly into the table where we were today day two meeting link takes you into the <clears throat> table that we um what do we do on day two was that the revising one yes the revision on how to use okay. ai mojo for revisions so some of you said you were absent for that and then day one meeting link takes you in to the instructions on how to create ai images so the instructions are all there, but you have to use your time, people. This isn't something that you could just do quick. I mean, you can. However, Paul has built it in where it's easy to use your phone on Youth Voices. Of course, your screen size, you know, determines how much you will see at one time, but you can use your phone. It's easier on your computer, hands down, but you can use your phone. So the sky is the limit as far as your creativity is concerned. Your writing is one thing, but your creativity is another. So I'm asking you to combine your two talents of writing and creativity with AI's ability to collaborate with you. All right, that's what I'm asking you to do. And just to make clear the point of putting all this on Youth Voices, the point is to start a conversation, right? So we're going to ask you to comment on each other's things. And we're going to ask, we're going to tell our colleague in Salt Lake City, my colleague, that you have put this up there and there are seniors out there who are doing other kinds of projects. They'll stop their project for a minute and give you feedback on your work. Mm -hmm. So that's what this is all about. It's all about connecting and kids over at the U school might see it too, etc. All over. Okay. Okay. Y'all so, have like nine minutes left. Who has a question for Paul or for myself. Did everybody get this information? Because remember, this is the first time you haven't just looked at the instructions of a benchmark for two or three weeks, which normally that's what happens. But this time I told you uh, I really needed Paul for us to go back and forth and the capabilities of youth voices and what our writing would look like for this particular topic while using youth voices. 
So this is what we came down to. All right. So what's written on the board, you really need that. You really need what's written on the board because these are the elements that you have to have in your post. Checkpoint three was also important because I want to see your before writing and your after. After you had it played in and played with in AI Mojo. Okay. Anybody want me to look at anything or if, if you get your image in and you get your text up and you have headings and you are happy with what you have and you're ready to publish, publish. by all means, go for it. Cause you can always take it down, not take it down, but you can uh, edit. Yeah. edit. You not save draft. Saving the draft is good too, but if you're ready to publish, publish. Cup. Oh, hers is update. What are you on? Uh, notepad? Or her What's iPad? Happening? Say it. Uh, come up front, honey. She's coming closer to the microphone. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Okay, so. Every time I go to uh, save my draft or I click save draft, I get a red pop up at the top that says updating field. So it may be that you're not actually logged in. Um, so did you use your Google, your SLA Beaver account to log in? Mm -hmm. before, before you do this, copy all of your text okay. so you don't lose it. But, oh, then, yeah. but then refresh everything and log back in again. Okay as well uh, the best i can tell um from a distance okay refresh and log in. or even yeah do you see your name at the top yeah that's how i knew i was logged into because when you go when i go to the top right corner to sign into my account it has my name and it says sla beaver and everything so i know it is uh, that's not necessarily the way to to log in though Oh, that wow. may be the issue. Um, okay. Log out from there mm -hmm. and go and just log in from the Google button. At, oh. No, go to Youth Voices Out Live first and then use Google to, to log, log in. in. Oh, okay, well, let me this done. Let me just refresh the whole Youth Voices page. Because it, it could be, I'm not sure. That's fine. Okay, logged out. I'm going to type Youth Voices back in. Youth Voices dot live, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you should get a login button, and you should be able to use the Google button. Okay. When I clicked Youth Voices dot live, it took me like right to the URL. So let me. That's let me good. Go. Oh, that's good. Oh, that was good. Okay. Never mind. Then. And then you, then you should find a, I, I don't want to, yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll log off. Yeah. I think, let me see, because I just exited out of it because I thought I did something wrong. I'm going to click exactly what I clicked last time so I can get back to it. So here's, I logged out just so we can do this. Okay. Um, you should see this login register button at the mm -hmm. top. Mm -hmm. Hit that. And then you should be able to hit the Google button here. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Yes. And that should take you in. So I, I'm not saying you didn't do it. What what may have happened though is is the browser made it look like you were logged in, but it actually was logged off. Okay. I'm only guessing. No, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you know, just start again and see if you can paste your text. Remember, remember, scroll across where it says my wall. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then you go to my my drafts and things I've published in drafts. Okay, I think let me. I put in my title just now, and I'm gonna try and click save draft and see if it saves now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that did work. I think I just wasn't logged into my uh, actual browser, like you said. Okay. Good. Thank you. Sure, sure. <laughs>
Okay, we have four minutes. Um, Paul won't be back again before Wednesday. He's going to come in with my e-band in tomorrow morning, but that is it. So he is the expert. He built this system. You, he built this platform, Youth Voices. So there's no better person to ask than him. Um, so, mm -hmm. Go ahead, Paul. At the top right of most pages is my telephone number, which is an un unusual thing, but it is. If you get stuck on something, text me. I'm happy to answer. And my email is there, too. So even though I won't be here on video, you, he was you, a teacher. He you can reach out. It's all good. Yeah, he was a teacher before this. I still am. You still, <laughs> yes, you are, because you're doing a wonderful job with my children. I'm just messing. Oh, no, okay. you can catch with me. Okay. <laughs> it's on, on the front page. Login the login page. Um, yeah. Okay. So the other thing is, anytime you're in that Kumu space, I'm often there. So if we bump into each other that way, that's a good thing. Too. Uh, you can hear the doorbell ring and see when somebody comes into it. And Paul, you know, I was using this, and they let freebies use all those features well now as a freebie account i can't use anything it's just corny desk and like a regular classroom uh you and sure i thought uh i think you have well i'll check into that yes they they uh they gave me everything. i know i know they do <laughs> but they took it away from the rest of us, and um, I really stopped communicating with them. I think I don't think that's. I think up to five members, you do have all those things. But I can't design a room anymore, I, I like think the you, floors, the plant. You know, I used to have five different rooms, and now I don't. Okay, so two things. I I think you have more access than you think you do, but I could be wrong. Okay. And the other thing is. Um, you're a floor manager on on this site. You can design anything you want to here. Okay, so just so. Yeah. I love it. Because I really liked Kumo Space. Do Anybody who had me in ninth grade, you all remember coming in? A Kumo <laughs> Space, we did it for advisory one day. How about your advisory? No, we all, different advisories, we all brought you all together. <laughs> uh, because we were put out of the building. So it was a way to bring us together. It was on Kumo space. But as you can see, Paul is a master at it. I was just a novice. Oh, okay. I this just messed. Uh, okay, this border. Class, Paul, Born. is the one that got put out of the building in ninth grade. Four years. Okay, yeah. Well, we're back now. We're back. And we're still using the same old tools. Yeah. Now, okay. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Please work on this. Yes, please.